A massive tree fell on a property in East Point, and now the homeowners cannot afford to remove it. The owner says the pressure is on to get rid of the tree quickly after receiving a warning from the city. 11 Alive Street Supples has a look at the tree and the city's response. Imagine this enormous surprise. Our neighbor right here called my wife. We were out somewhere and said, hey, like a huge branch just fell. But it didn't look like just a branch. Chris Manning and his wife came home and were shocked. A tree toppled over on Plantation Drive, landing on power lines, and it's been there ever since for weeks. Look at how big this tree is just in comparison to my size at 5'4", and the homeowners say that the cost to get rid of it is just as big. And I got three quotes. We're all around three to $4,000 to have it cut up and removed. And do you have three or four? No. Then another surprise. East Point code enforcement slaps them with the warning to remove it. Manning said he asked for an extension. They granted him two more weeks. We have until September 30th to get rid of the, the I mean, like get rid of it, not just cut it up. How are you supposed to come up with four grand in two weeks? Last week in a memo, the city described its dangerous tree removal efforts. The city invested over $250,000 for the current fiscal year and next year. City arborists branch out to do their daily assessments looking for trees that could pose risks to power lines like this one. If the city deems it hazardous, they have one of four contracted arborists remove it at no cost. But once the tree falls on someone's personal property, homeowners are on their own. If we do have, end up having to pay for it, it's going to go on a credit card. We're going to go into debt. Code enforcement tells me they're willing to work with the Mannings, but the tree can't plant its roots there forever. Either it's got to go or they've got to go to court. It's, it's a tough situation. Uh, we, don't, we don't have the money. In East Point, Teresa Bowles, 11 Alive News.